Few children worldwide are receiving the kind of lavish care and attention that Northwest is receiving. Being the first child born to rapper Kanye West and reality TV star Kim Kardashian, she received more attention throughout her pregnancy than most people would likely receive in their lifetime. And despite the fact that she appears to be living a lavish lifestyle, North has gradually developed into a spoiled child who is acting completely out of control. But if we look at the interviews, Kim frequently tries to downplay that, telling the world that this is the North's nature and that there is nothing we can do about it. I don't know about you, but this appears to me more like Kim trying to avoid dealing with this issue, even while more and more people around her are telling her that she needs to give North's upbringing more serious consideration. Paris Hilton, North's former best friend, is one of the individuals who not only insulted Kim, but also North. Kim and Paris, as we all know, had a very similar upbringing, but they approached the subject of parenting very differently. And it appears that Paris Hilton strongly disagrees with Kim's method of raising Kim. Kim, as you may imagine, took this extremely badly and lost her mind. However, just what transpired between them? What behavior did North reveal through Paris Hilton? What's even more crucial to know is how Kim Kardashian responded. In today's video, we will precisely discover this, so be sure to watch through to the very end to ensure you don't miss a single juicy detail. Before we get started, remember to subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with all of the celebrity dramas. The Kardashians have an extraordinary lifestyle, as I mentioned in the introduction. Really, not much about their existence is similar to that of an average person. They have every type of car imaginable, live in an enormous home, and take private aircraft to get to their holiday spots. In addition to everything else, they are constantly being followed by paparazzi and cameras. Furthermore, North is arguably the most well-known Kardashian child, drawing the greatest attention from the media as a result. She has never experienced what it's like to not obtain what you want for this reason. And her behavior makes this very evident. As I mentioned earlier in the introduction, North is not the little angel that her mother attempts to present her as to the public. Furthermore, those who frequently interact with her, nannies, chefs, security personnel, family members, and even her father, Kanye West, claim that North is extremely pampered and harsh to those who she views as inferior. Don't worry if you're curious about what Kenny said about his own daughter. We will talk about that in a moment. However, Kylie Jenner stated in an interview that everyone who knows North is sick of her attitude, so Kenny isn't the only family member who is fed up with her actions. Additionally, this is evident in the various instances in which she merely acts on her desires without consideration to how they make her feel. For instance, North once yelled at Kim to stop snapping pictures of her because she didn't want Kim to take any. Furthermore, she had fooled with Kim before. North is actually well known for kind of tormenting Kim and always attempting to harm her reputation. In an interview, Kim even acknowledged this, adding that her children tease her all the time. Rather than take this personally, though, Kim chose to laugh it off. Just to name a couple of the things North stated to Kim, the first one was that her house was unsightly and that she had no sense of design. Kim said, Who lives like this? Your house is so ugly, it's all white. Kim made this admission on Ellen DeGeneres' show. Another instance occurred when Kim attempted to create an Instagram story to advertise makeup. North would continuously yell from the back, questioning her mother as to why her daughter didn't talk in her own voice. Kim would reply, this is my real voice and I'm trying to make an advertisement for the product. Another instance is when Kim mentioned a well-known song while live on Instagram. I'm not sure if Kim did this because they are friends or if the actor paid for it. She admitted to her audience that she listens to this song a lot and that she truly enjoys it. North, on the other hand, began yelling in the background that she seldom ever hears the song. Another instance would be when Kim was attempting on a new outfit for the Met Gala. Kim chose to bring North along for some reason, and North was quick to point out all the flaws in the clothing. Still, she wasn't merely criticizing Kim. Additionally, 
the designer was standing just next Kim. She mentioned specifically that it appears cheap and that the pearls appear artificial. She continued, saying, there are far too many gaps in the pearls. With her shredded clothing, she appears to be a Hawaiian girl. Some may counter that this is just a child being honest and that children often behave in this way. North's actions, though, remained unchanged over the years. Actually, things kept getting worse. She once attended another child's birthday celebration, for instance, but instead of focusing all of her attention on that child, she chose to take center stage and steal the other girl's shine by blowing out all of the candles on her birthday cake. The other child, as you might imagine, didn't take it well, and North didn't even apologize for it, based on what is known online. It got to the point where even her father, Kanye West, made a comment regarding his daughters and his children's overall behavior. He feels that Kim Kardashian, his mother and ex-wife, is overindulging her kids. One such instance would be Kim, who pays up to $100,000 a month for their children's nannies. He believes that the nanny's job is excessive and that the children aren't spending enough time with their biological family. According to insider information, Kim's nannies put in a lot of overtime, roughly 14 to 16 hours a day. Kanye had the words to his song easy. I love the nannies, but nothing beats having real family. Stop taking credit for the kids. The cameras are watching them. When you satisfy all of their needs, they still need more. You all need to do some tasks, you bougie and rebellious people. This isn't your mother's house, rich ass children. Lean on your siblings' shoulders and remove the top ramen. Kanye is essentially saying that their children don't even understand the value of money and fame because they were never required to work for it. You see, Kanye had to rise through the ranks because he was raised in a relatively low-income family. He believes that this is the ideal approach to mature as a result. Kim, on the other hand, does nothing and merely makes matters worse. While he tries to give his children a normal upbringing, even though he knows he can't give them the same one he had. Looking back at North's actions, Kim can see that although North is obnoxious and disrespectful, Kim chooses to take no action to change it. Alternatively put, she is powerless to stop it. In my opinion, Kim appears to be more of a friend than a mother to the children, which means she has no authority over them. And fans' opinions on it are remarkably similar. For instance, a fan commented, It's so obvious that North is living every child's fantasy with all the luxury around her. But isn't it a little concerning? Kim seemed to be too preoccupied with her own problems to handle North's conceited actions. I only hope that they remember to inculcate some traditional values in her despite all the glamour. Alternatively, another writer said, To be honest, seeing North grow up in this kind of environment makes me worry what morals she is learning. They can afford expensive clothing, but can money also buy them discipline and respect? Or the latest one that said, I can't help but feel it's too much for a child her age every time I see North at another exclusive event or with another extravagant gift. And with all of this, where is Kim? Always occupied with her own life, always somewhere else. It's unfortunate since, in the end, parental supervision cannot be replaced by nannies or workers. This is precisely the point at which Paris Hilton's criticism is relevant. As I mentioned in the introduction, Kim and Paris have quite different parenting styles. Despite having very similar upbringings from wealthy parents and being on par in terms of fame and fortune. In addition to lavishing her children with every luxury imaginable, Kim also makes an effort to conceal the reality that her children are essentially being raised by nannies. Although nannies occasionally appear in television programs, an insider with the Kardashians informed the media that most of the nannies are forced to remain hidden while the show is being filmed. This means that viewers are never exposed to the full scope of the situation, and, more significantly, that Kim is able to benefit fully from her parenting. Conversely, Paris not only makes an effort to be their children's constant presence, or as close to it as possible, but she also offers credit where credit is due. She repeatedly declared that she would be in dire straits without her nannies. 
Paris and North now took a really strange-looking video together at the Kardashians' extravagant Christmas party. She did, however, act rather kind toward North in that video, telling her that she merely wished her the best for the future and that, up until then, she had never spoken negatively about North. After that, though, it appears that an insider has leaked information indicating that Paris has an entirely different opinion of North, at least when the cameras are off. Paris feels that Kim is spoiling her children excessively, and this belief even extends to the notion that Paris will become more and more concerned about North as she gets older. First of all, I find it incomprehensible that Paris is being kind to Kim and the rest of the Kardashian family, but behind their backs, she criticizes North's actions. Apart from that though, I wholeheartedly agree with her worries about North, particularly with regard to the upcoming years. I think by the time North reaches her late teenage years, she will be severely out of control, and Kim won't be able to stop it because her kids will only view her as a friend, not a parent. And that's just what supporters think. One of them wrote, Paris is spot on with her observations, for instance. The Kardashian children lead a lavish lifestyle, but at what cost? The true problem here is being obscured by Kim's incessant attempt to act like the ideal mother. The children lack the required parental guidance and are growing up in a bubble of entitlement and affluence. Kim appears to be living in a parallel reality, one in which she wants everyone to think she's a supermom, according to another writer. But as we all know, the nannies are the ones that put in the most effort. Having help is not a crime, especially considering how busy they are. So why keep this secret? However, I would really like to know what you think about this whole subject. Do you believe that North will face significant difficulties and that Paris is correct? Or do you believe that she simply inherited this mindset from her father, in which case anything she does is perfectly oak and this is just who she is? Tell me in the comments below. Also, if you want to ensure that you never miss another celebrity drama, remember to subscribe to my channel. That being stated, I want to thank you for watching and see you later.